Hey guys, it's Football Maxwell here and welcome to another Football Manager 2016 player development video. Today we're looking at the young Argentine who's got a hell of a future in front of him and it is Emmanuel Mamana. Um, I think he was a wonder kid last year as well and it looks like it's going to be the same case this year. So he starts off at River Plate uh, a season in, he's obviously moved out and loan in this save, he's went to Olympiacos. Just general a little bit of information before we check how good he becomes. He's already got a cap for Argentina. Small wages, so hopefully then if you do get him, he won't be asking for mega bucks. His valuation is pretty respectable at 2.2 million. And starting off the game at the age of 19 means you know he's a long, long way to develop. A couple of stats, the tackling's good, the heading's good. The marking's pretty good as well. Really good first touch for a defender and good technique, which is a very good surprise. And for somebody this age, the mentals are absolutely fantastic as well. Only uh, the off the ball being a 9 is under 10. You know, good good um, anticipation. Bravery could be a little bit better, but that can improve, get better. Good composure, great concentration. Okay decision making. Very good determination, which means there's a good chance he can improve. And position at 14 means if he get that up a little bit more, he'll be phenomenal. And physically, everyone's either 13 or 14 bar his acceleration. Again, at 20, at 19, it can only get better. So apart from that, He's a right footy centre back, he's resolute, no PPMs at the moment, it'll be really interesting to see if he lives up to the hype of last year's FM. So here is Emmanuel Mamana, 7 years into the game, and as you can see, he's lived up to every bit of the hype this year, he's going to be phenomenal again. Now with 50 50 caps for his country, and a sweet little 230k a week, so not bad there, and valued up at £39.5 million, pound, contracted to Chelsea. You can look at his defensive stats there, the tackling at 16, the marking at 17 and the heading at 15 is solid. And again, keeping that very good first up, touch up at 16. Interesting note though, despite him being a centre back, only finishing and free kick taking are less than 10. Which is absolutely remarkable. A defender with 12 dribbling as well, that's quite unreal. But the mental side of things, uh, aggression never really improved much, that's at 11, but everything else seems to have improved tenfold. Great anticipation, great composure, great con concentration, decision making is pretty good, position is outstanding. Uh, even stuff like vision, so he can pick out a pass for the back, so if you want a ball playing defender, he could definitely play that role as well. And from a physical standpoint, everything's improved. Strength at 17, stamina at 16, his pace at 15, acceleration at 13, so he's not the quickest, but He's still reasonably quick for a centre half. And good agility and good balance as well. Obviously he's remained the right footed centre back. He's still resolute. Uh, Mida described him as a commanding centre back. And he's developed the P PPMs of stay back at all times. He doesn't dive into tackles. And he likes to switch the ball to the other flank. His career history. Obviously we saw he went out and loaned to Olympiacos in the first season. Another couple of seasons at River. Done okay, never really played a lot of games, but we're still getting really good ratings. Got an £8 million move to Benfica, and from there he just get better and better. Lots of play of the matches, a couple of assists, a couple of goals for a defender. And this has been his first season at Chelsea, a £22 million move. 35 appearances, 3 goals, 3 assists, 2 play of the matches, but an absolutely phenomenal 7.52 average rating. Not bad for your first season in English football. And if we quick look at his scout report, no negatives, Barry wouldn't join this club, so I think that's perfect. But, um, you're a world class player, uh, highly professional, resolute characteristics, he's consistent, he's highly reliable, who doesn't let his opponents pass them, and he could be a little bit versatile, so it'd be interesting to see uh, what other positions it would say he could play in, probably just right mid, I don't know what other ones there would be. We quick look, sweeper or right back as well. Saying that, four and a half star potential well, ability player now. Which is far better than any other player that Chelsea have. Just absolutely amazing. And look at that compared to Mark Bartra, who I think is fairly decently rated in this game. And he absolutely makes him look like nothing. So, that is Emmanuel Mamana. What do you think of him, guys? Are you going to go and sign him this year since he looks as good as last year? Is anybody going to try and go River Plate and keep him and Balanta together? Because that could be an absolutely phenomenal centre back for him. Let me know in the comments section below, of course, if you enjoyed the video as well. Hit that like button. And until next time, it's Twitter on Maxwell. I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.